Meghan Markle is an ethnic junkie. Her new statement was thrown under the bus. Hello friends and welcome to the remarkable news of the notoriously treacherous couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen, News Version 2 channel. A royal critic has attacked Meghan Markle, calling her a really unlikable person. The Duchess of Sussex has suffered more setbacks after asserting in her Archetypes podcast that the stereotype of the angry black woman in society is to blame for her reputation as being demanding. But the actual reason that she is despised by some, according to a royal observer, has nothing to do with the colour of her skin. In the most recent episode of her podcast Archetypes, Meghan Markle criticised the stereotype of the irate black woman. The podcast investigates the many labels applied to women. She called herself picky and emphasised during the episode that there was a distinction between being difficult and being transparent. The Duchess said, you're entitled to set boundaries and to be explicit. It does not make you demanding or difficult, it makes you clear. In a post for Sky News Australia, royal analyst Caleb Bond criticised her views, blaming Meghan's perceived reputation on her purported behaviour rather than her race. According to Bond, the Duchess of Dreary has argued that her image as a demanding person boils down to the angry black woman myth. Maybe such a notion is not due to her heritage, but because she is a really dislikable person. Bond went on to say that usually everyone else is at fault. As long as they can maintain the idea that they are flawless in every manner, anybody may be blamed and any excuse can be used. In this area, Meghan Markle has gained expertise. Bond claimed in his scathing essay that Meghan moved to the United States in search of some quote-unquote seclusion before signing up for royal responsibilities without realising how stressful they would be. Following claims that several of her employees departed because of her demands while she was employed by the firm, Meghan Markle has been dubbed tough. The Duchess recently announced on her podcast that she is 43% Nigerian, but Bon maintains that this has no bearing on how others view her. He stated... Her skin tone has nothing to do with the fact that she is demanding, difficult and generally despised by a large portion of the world's population. She is demanding and painful, which is a regrettable characteristic of many renowned people who have forgotten what made them great. Obviously, that is the rest of the globe. Meghan did not claim to be black before being in a relationship with Harry. She lived as a white woman. She had a white husband and all of her friends were white. What mixed person doesn't have black friends and family at their wedding? She is depressed. She should have thought about what she was doing before marrying Harry. We do not really want to hear her sob stories. Meghan did not mention her race before dating Harry. She looked white and lived as white. Now she wants black women to bear the burden of exile with her but she never had a black friend around her before entering the palace. She doesn't really have any of her black family in her circle because she probably thought that she was better than them. Now similarly, she thought she was better than her staff in the royal family. This entire podcast series is Markle's way of addressing her critics. Even stereotypes that seem to have no significance to her herself, she makes everything about her. Markle is not a spokesperson or even a role model for women. She certainly does not represent me or any woman I know. Most women, myself included, do not like the entire victim narrative she puts out. Megan has played this card too many times and it has nothing to do with her colour, but with her attitude to everything and everyone around her. But then we must remember that Megan is a narcissist. They can say what they want, but we have to keep our feelings to ourselves. Well, Nutmeg, you have brought this onto yourself. You will regret the day when you are left with no friends or family to turn to. One analyst had this to say, Megan is not black 
and until we saw her mother, nobody in the United Kingdom even suspected that she had anything more than a Californian suntan, I suspect. She is the racist, and it is her that is constantly pulling the race card to reinforce her perception of victimhood. Most certainly it is her personality, not her skin or origin, which by her reconing is 57% white, that makes her despised by so many. The thing is this, you can be particular and clear without being demanding, rude or throwing a tantrum which I believe is what happens behind the scenes or bullying of others. It's that kind of behaviour that perpetuates the black angry woman trope. You know, if no one had said she was black, which strictly speaking she is not, I would have just thought a woman with olive skin. Now that she took on the mantle of a black woman, we have to treat her differently. Mind you, she is whiter than I am on the bits that don't see the sun or make up much. What really gets to me is that Megan does not seem to have any shame for bullying a little girl who in the protocol of the royal family outranks her. She has no shame in calling Princess Charlotte fat. How can you claim to uplift girls and women when you fat shame a three-year-old and allow your best friend and her young daughter to fat shame a three-year-old? So no, I have no sympathy for Mrs. Mountbatten Windsor and I do not want her ever to come back to Canada. As far as I am concerned, she has outlived her welcome when they used Canada as a jumping stone to the United States. So I suggest they stay in the United States. One black woman criticised Meghan for her racial abuse and said, most people had no idea of her heritage or her when she came onto the scene. She is more Mediterranean in looks than black. She was the one who made it about race because she knew that she could do more damage to the royals and Britain that way. It is purely down to her vindictive lying nature than anything else. Ethnics is not a dark grey thing. I am one of some people known as Celts. I am darker than she is in the summer and once I had raven black hair. I am also completely fed up with the constant drivel about ethnicity having anything to do with being pink, etc. Just shut up, Megan, and your cronies. You are not a minority. What should we do to Meghan Markle to make her stop her dirty tricks? One insider said, the king and queen should remove their titles and ban them from all royal events, as well as warning them that any further defamation would be dealt with legally. This vile pair of chances have not faced any real consequences for their actions. Only the youngsters, who are mainly a very self-centred generation, think that they are marvellous because they are openly rude, self-indulgent and disrespectful, and so they can relate to that. But most of us are not and see them for the low lives that they really are. What do you think about Meghan Markle taking advantage of her ethnicity to blame the royal family? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. We hope that you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.